Hello everyone. Great to have the opportunity to speak with you today. Obviously, I was very excited when we launched the fund and, and managing the aggressive fund is a real privilege. Certainly when we launched the fund, I wasn't expecting to deal with the first global pandemic since 1918. But one thing I've learned over my 20 plus years investing in global markets is you have to keep an open mind and be flexible in your views as the world is a dynamic place and full of surprises. At Milford, we were relatively quick to identify the growing risk of COVID-19 as we were tracking its progress in China. Through February and March, there was a lot of uncertainty about the path of the virus and its human and economic impact. But it was pretty clear early on that certain industries, for example, those exposed to travel, like airlines or hospitality, like restaurants, were going to be in the eye of the storm. And we reduced exposure to companies that were most vulnerable to this crisis. But there were also clear beneficiaries as well, as historically pandemics pushed the fast forward button on history. And COVID-19 has clearly accelerated many trends that were already underway, such as the move from brick and mortar shopping to e-commerce or online shopping. And the pandemic has accelerated a shift away from using cash and checks to pay to using credit and debit cards, also electronic payments, as no one wants to touch physical cash. And I think more than ever, there will be an increase in hygiene and healthcare spending as this pandemic has shed light on the importance of healthcare, and we think policy will be directed to combat health issues, benefiting a number of healthcare companies. So our strategy during the pandemic has been focused on our long-term trends, some I just mentioned um, previously, and investing in companies with strong tailwinds. We've used the volatility and cheaper share prices to invest in quality companies like Amazon, Visa, Microsoft and healthcare company Thermo Fisher. And I agree with the words of the world's greatest investor, Warren Buffett. Whether we're talking about socks or shares, I like buying quality merchandise or companies when they're on sale and marked down. As an investor, it's been a challenging period, but volatility is nothing new in markets. In my experience, it is important to zoom out from the day-to-day -day noise because the media tends to amplify the negatives. The key is to take a long-term perspective and stick to your long-term plans. For me, that is investing in quality companies that are well-managed with fantastic long-term growth prospects. Historically, quality companies have emerged from every crisis even stronger. 2020 has been a year of surprises. There's never been a dull moment. In terms of performance, it really has been a roller coaster ride. We had the fastest 30% fall in US share markets in history in February and March, followed by one of the fastest rebounds ever seen, as policymakers unleashed the most aggressive policy stimulus ever. Overall, I'm reasonably happy with performance in the aggressive fund. We we're up 13% in the first year, but I never get complacent and always strive to do better. I do feel a huge sense of responsibility in managing our clients' hard-earned money, and I never lose sight of that. We are not out of the woods yet, and the path ahead continues to be highly uncertain, with a lot depending on the success of a vaccine. I see both upside and downside risks to the global outlook. A sustainable recovery will be medically driven, but we just need to be patient, as eventually we will conquer this virus. Given this backdrop, it's important to think long term, as we expect a bumpy road ahead. We own a broad range of companies to ensure the fund performs well, and is resilient in a range of different economic outcomes. This is just the start of the journey for the fund, and I wanted to make the point that I am invested alongside you with 100% of my KiwiSaver in the fund, and I'm looking forward to a good retirement for all of us. Finally, I want to thank the investors in the fund. It's been a turbulent year, and I'm hoping the second year of the fund will be calmer waters and smoother sailing. Thank you very much.